And it starts with a narration from Aun ibn Abdullah rahimahullah ta'ala. He said, I asked Umm Darda uh, radiallahu ta'ala anha about Abu Darda radiallahu anhu. And I wanted to know uh, what his best form of ibadah was, what his best form of worship was. Now Abu Darda obviously radiallahu ta'ala anhu was one of the muftis of the companions, one of the most knowledgeable of the companions and distinguished with his ibadah and admired by the tabi'een, admired by the next generation for the example that he left behind in that regard. And of course, his wife, Umm Darda al-Sughra, uh, is a scholar in her own right that was uh, sought out and asked many times and would often relay things on behalf of her husband. So Aun ibn Abdullah is asking Umm Darda what was his best ibadah. And particularly, by the way, there are two narrations. Ayu ibadati Abu Darda kanat akthar. And in one narration, Afdal. So which of the acts of worship of Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu were most? Or which of them were the best? So what is his most virtuous and most distinctive form of worship? And what is his most frequent form of worship? Akthar. And she said that what distinguished him, Qalat at tafakkuru wal i'tibar. To remember, contemplate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at tafakkur and i'tibar, to take into account, to reflect and to take into account. Both of them are within the same domain of contemplation. at tafakkuru wal i'tibar. Um, and she goes on to say that Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, tafakkuru sa'a khayrun min qiyami layla, to remember Allah for an hour. And particularly here, to contemplate for an hour. To contemplate for an hour is better than praying all night. To contemplate for an hour is better than praying all night. This is also something, by the way, that has been narrated on behalf of Hassan al-Basri, uh, rahimahullah ta'ala. He said, tafakkuru sa'a khayru min qiyami layla, that to remember Allah, I keep on saying to remember Allah because I'll talk about what tafakkur means in this context, but to contemplate for an hour is better than an entire night of prayer. Now, what is tafakkur and how is it related to qiyamul layl? And what is al-i'tibar? This is another word that often does not get introduced. You hear the words tafakkur and you hear tadabbur, uh, which are contemplation and reflection. I'tibar, which is to, to consider, to take into account something, um, is a word that's often not used when we're talking about this blessed practice. So let's first talk about the domain as a whole, inshallah ta'ala. You know, clearing your head, if you go out in nature and you don't do anything, you don't say anything, you just look around and you just take it all in, quiet everything, then that in and of itself is a means of really uh, opening up the pathways in your heart and in your, in your thoughts so that you can remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly so that you can consider the greatness of Allah and the greatness of your purpose in um, you know living in accordance with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed and what comes next after this life the true meaning of this life and what comes in the hereafter and so on and so forth you know that practice of taking time out is incredibly not just therapeutic but beneficial to your iman and it's usually just talked about in the capacity of how therapeutic it is and it is therapeutic to get time out to breathe fresh air but it's also extremely beneficial to your iman, beneficial to your faith. And it's increasingly become difficult to do that because of the devices that we have now that don't allow us to ever disconnect. And you have to disconnect from the world to connect with Allah. You know, it, it, sometimes you have to take those breaks. So if you have your phone with you, if you have your laptop with you, wherever you are, it is so hard to cut off everything for an hour to just remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to think about him. And that's something that's very important here, that the nature of contemplation here and tafakkur is not one where you're just enjoying the outdoors, but you're looking around and as you are enjoying the outdoors and you are looking at the signs of Allah as they are so observable to you, you're saying, subhanallah, subhanallah, la ilaha illallah, alhamdulillah, right? You are alternating between the various uh, recitations of athkar, of remembrances that we learn from the Prophet ﷺ, and deeply considering those things. So tafakkur is to contemplate on the signs of Allah, to contemplate on the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it should provoke a sense of remembrance. So saying alhamdulillah, saying subhanallah, saying Allahu Akbar, saying la ilaha illallah, going between those various verses of praise, those statements of praise, and those statements of remembrance, 
is a way of keeping you connected, not just to the signs that are around you and contemplating them, but also connecting you to their maker and your maker, which is the ultimate goal of that tadabbur and of that tafakkur.